Hello everybody. I'm back. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to overclock the memory. Uh, firstly, I really appreciate a lot of people to review my uh, unboxing the video and a lot of people to comment and talk about a lot of some things. I really appreciate for that. So today I'm gonna show you how to uh, overclock the memory because there is no I found that there is no there is no like this video so might be help you to how to overclock for the Ryzen uh, Allura R10 Ryzen edition game desktop so all right so right now I will show you how to overclock that but firstly this is my dashboard the overclock uh, the memory clock is 3200 and here is uh, some information. Um, as you know, the R10 is a little bit different R11 because um, I saw the video on the others, and 11 is the uh, the advantage the advantage settings for the uh, the CPU and memory, so they can adjust directly like this for yeah directly to adjust the uh, of a clock the clock but I found the right um, aura R10 is different there is no any functions to so here so I can't choose anything so there is no any functions to reduce uh, to adjust the clock so I try to contact the uh, their technicians and they suggestions yeah that's true so there is no any there is no any advanced tabs to adjust the clock for CPU and memory, so you have to go inside the BIOS to uh, adjust uh, manually. So this is what I get from the Dell technicians. So today I'm gonna show you how to uh, adjust that, and I will try to overclock the 3800 for the memory. Um, actually I did it before and it's uh, the running is stable so that should be okay e, as long as you are the same as my spec but the one thing is that uh, even though I think there is a lot of risk for the overclock so it should be responsible by yourself because it might be a different environment between you and me so just for your information for that Okay, so right now I will, uh, firstly I will run the Cinebench for so far and after overclock the RAM and I will the run Cinebench again and as well as get, uh, see how many benefits we will get. Alright, so right now Cinebench is here, uh, I will, I will just monitor my CPU temperature, alright. All right, let's go. Here we go. All right, it's right now. It's running, and as you see, the, uh, the CPU temperatures is maximum seventy-eight or something. Seventy-seven or seventy-eight, seventy-nine. So that is what I change the uh, the water cooler instead of. The, uh, the air cooler because the originally my lab uh, my desktop is air cooler from factory but I found it's really ridiculous the temperature when I playing the game something like that is over the 90 sometimes <laughs> very crazy so but that's it so I recommend if you order the air cooler I think you are gonna be change your cooler to the uh, water cooler will be better so okay so right now my yep here we go so right now my score is four six seven eight so we will see again after the cloud the ram all right let's go firstly you're gonna restart the computer and here we go and then And we are uh, here is uh, F2. And when you see the, uh, the screen, the alarm screen, just 
push the F2 there you go we'll inside the BIOS here is the inside and my BIOS version is 108 so we're gonna reference for you and you just go inside it's really simple and not much different difficult um, so here we're gonna go the uh, the performance options and the firstly if you see here it will the gray you can touch anything so right now what are you gonna do right now here optimize default you just click here you will see okay this loading options default okay so all right right now you can click here and enable and here um, normally from factory is OC2 but we just select the customization and here you go a lot of menu and here is the menu and I will the um, adjust the voltage to the uh, 7a because when I did the testing it's 1.38 is very stable and memory frequency and 29 uh, no uh, should be 1900 am I right because if you so two times will no, that's right 3800 and TCR you're gonna um, I gonna 14 the time and TCDR the 17 and 14 RP is also 14 then trust is 32 all right this is what i set up for my pc and that's all right now you're just gonna here and save and okay okay now let's see what's going on built it very lucky to build it <laughs> actually the first time it's a little bit a little bit nervous because of might be have a problem but right it's back there you go so right now uh, if you go inside the uh, the dashboard and you're gonna be gonna be give some times to detect again because the problem because we are overclocked and program will detect again for the, the all the informations so we're gonna give time give them time to set up it all right and you just click yes It's back and here you uh, the well, your system of overclocking setting have been turned off so that is why if you manual to overclock memory and CPU booster overclock will turn off automatically because of because of you know um no, here is a uh, here will turn off because there is no function any uh, there is no manual function for the overclock CPU so that is why we have to use the Ryzen master to overclock for the CPU individuals all right so right now for sure you see 3800 and actually I played I running the system around the two weeks and it is very stable so no any problems so I believe no problem so so right now you're gonna go uh, open the Cinebench to see the score is the benefit get higher or something so okay let's go all right right now our testing so 
as you see this is for our last scores for 6 7 a so let's just see if any if we get any benefit from the fur that's what i want am i right so right now we're gonna run the testing for the Cine bench let's go Alright, it's running so far. <sighs> and CPU ten temperature. Oh, CPU temperature a little bit. Oh, it's good. Not too bad. But honestly, I would say if you wanna testing the overclocking, you have go inside to play the game to see if FPS is higher than before. Because the Cinebenchi is almost stretching for the CPU. I I believe the uh, the we were not getting a good difference from Cinebench for the memory. So I just recommend you go inside the game to play and see if FPS will the higher than before. That should be good. Oh, four, six, seven, eight. Actually, there is no um here seven, eight. The score a little bit the lower than before. That is means that <laughs> so we are not getting the benefits. Um, yeah, might be it is because the CPU double clock because the uh, as you know the before we are this the other or uh this pc already overclocked from the factory this pc already cpu overclocked from the uh the factory so it will be a little bit different so uh, uh, maybe i can testing if we overclock the cpu what's going on let's see that all right so if you wanna um overclock the cpu you just go to the ryzen master and just so okay and then i just using the easy mode so you if you wanna you can try this sometimes there yeah, are yeah, any others you can use the advanced views if you see the advanced like this this looks a little bit complicated if you don't want to see that you can go back to the basic view and here is the basic view and I'd like to know here is a profile and I just so I wanna menu to adjust this just go to 4.2 and I will not touch the voltage because you don't need to touch this and just overclock CPU to 4.2 and just just giving the testing will be good and they were running the stress test for the CPU and let's go alright it's already done looks better there is no any arrows so did you see uh, around I think 4.2 that's the uh, exactly what I want and uh, right now apply is this all right all right is sated by us and right now let's just see how is this score let's go all right uh, I believe the uh, temperature a little bit high the before. Uh, the high a little bit two or three, two or three degrees before. So that should be the normal because you are overclocked the CPU. So I wanna say again, if you wanna go to the see the memory of a clock, I think you're gonna play the game to see if that should be good because of Cinebench is for CPU uh, overclock. Alright, you see, after I overclock the CPU, <laughs> the score is 4A35. So that is why I said, you know, because the original factory, uh, from factory, they are already overclocked the CPU and memory clocked the 3200. 
and after we are manual to overclock for the memory and then CPU clock is getting the default there is no overclock so that is why the Cinebench is a little bit the lower than before and right now after all uh, we are overclocked the CPU and then the clock the score is higher than before so right now I think you can play the game getting a better performance I think so Alright, this is my share about the how to overclock memory and CPU. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe my channel, and see you next time. Bye!